Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about Marvel's um Earth 616. The little Disney Plus Insider special that they showed. And wow, is really what I can really say. Watching that just proves that these companies don't care about us as the fans. They don't care about the characters themselves, and they don't care about comics. It's like, brava, this is literally what the comic book industry is. And especially with the nonsense that's going on with Dan Slott after that terrible retcon with Franklin Richards and that terrible Iron Man 2020, which they were talking about in the um, interviews and stuff like that. And now this... It just proves how terrible of a, a person he is, to be honest. And it's just like, you know, Tom, why the hell is you not firing this guy? I just don't understand. They can probably ham it up for the cameras or whatever. But I really believe this is how Dan Slott is with the writing and stuff like that. They're talking about how he's always not on time, trying to struggle to get a co-writer, trying to get the lettering done. You know, and then they're trying to do the Marvel way or whatever. But the problem is, they know Dan Slott don't do much. He's always late. I don't understand that. How can a person been working for comics for 30 years still be late with his work? Still can't get nothing done on time. Still can't write nothing or whatever. And from the in interviews and little scenes and stuff like that, he seems goddamn annoying. I'm sorry, you know, would have had to go to, to some higher ups or something be like, he got to go. He got to go because this is retarded. I don't care that he's grandfathered in or any of that nonsense. He's not doing any work. And for Disney and Marvel to put this, this mess out, this just proves how much you guys don't care about the comic books themselves. Because why else would you put this mess out why else would you show this you know people already don't like this man your fans telling you that they don't like this man he has a whole entire chain block blocking people that didn't even know him or whatever but because they follow a certain person he chain blocked them then he spends half his time on twitter instead of writing I'm sorry, what job going to sit up there and let you be on social media all day long, but ain't got none of the, the work done that we need? I mean, you literally have artists and lettering trying to figure out, well, I can't really do much until, you know, Dan, you know, finished writing the script and he hasn't write, written the script, but we got six weeks and we got like almost two weeks before the book is supposed to be coming out. Are you kidding me? What kind of unprofessional nonsense is that? Who the hell allows that? Like, seriously, Disney, what are you doing? Like, I just don't get it. All of these amazing characters and you just let some fat Garfield person do whatever he wants to. He was so and frustrating well, he was so annoying insufferable and everything and it probably was a little bit hammed up but but like, again like i said that is most likely his real way of him acting or whatever stuff like that you know not to mention you have people that has to like kind of go behind him to try to get the deadline due i just don't understand you don't keep putting time and effort into a person that ain't doing nothing i am sorry you have to learn to put some foot down you wondering why people aren't buying your stuff or whatever and stuff like that why these characters aren't doing successful why your core audience is like leaving stuff like this you literally thought this was okay to show us like what were you thinking do you know how many people would have loved to be in Dan Slott's position? Working at Marvel, creating amazing characters and stuff like that. 
not those SJW um, people or whatever. I'm talking about people who are actually patient. I mean, have passion for these comic book characters, you know? And it's time they get somebody who actually is passionate about these comic book characters. Because I know if I was there, half that stuff that Dan Slott would have been, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, shut the hell up. You're not doing that. We're not doing that. Your plot's crap. Either you get a co-writer and um, I'm going to prove this stuff. You got six weeks. No tweeting. You write this script down. It will be on a deadline. Now, it might come off like I'm being a hard ass or anything, but I don't care because that was unacceptable and that event was garbage. And looking at what they showed us from Marvel 616 proves how terrible this stuff is and proves how much the comic book industry don't care. I've never seen such highly disrespectful things going on. And looking at that, it's just like, well, Darren Marvel, you deserve all the hate you're getting. You deserve all the hate you're getting. Because as fans, we're watching this, and it is a slap to the face. It is a slap to the face of the people that do want to write for Marvel in the future, that do want to work for Marvel in the future, or even fans of it that be like, oh, wow, we get to see an insider or whatever. And this is current year comic books? Wow, Jesus Christ. Let's go back in the past and look at current year comic books and we'll see how they were done better than how they're done now stan lee did create the marvel method because he had to write a whole bunch of books for the for almost what 20 years i believe or um and he kept pushing them out and he relied on his entire team but he didn't slack off unlike dan slot like i just don't understand how He's still working there. You know, and what are you paying him? You're paying him money for barely doing anything? Why? What, what are you keeping him there for? It's really embarrassing. It is really embarrassing to see this kind of nonsense going on in Marvel Comics right now. You know, then you let him retcon things and change things that nobody asks for. Nobody asked for, and now he's getting hate from it, and then he want to try to cry wolf. No, you did this nonsense that nobody asked for. You literally retconned Franklin Richards, right? So then you made the whole X-Men Fantastic Four comic book run pointless. You literally did. You literally made that run pointless, that little mini series pointless, then, if you're going to retcon that stuff out. Franklin is a damn mutant. He's been a mutant for 40 years. Get over yourself. Then Professor Xavier's not even acting like himself, but let's be honest. Jonathan Hitman's um, X-Men characters haven't been acting themselves since House of X, Powers of X. Like, I, I don't understand this whole destruction of characters, changing them up that nobody asks for. These characters been this way for some years. These characters been this way for years, and then all of a sudden, we get to the 2010s, they want to shake up everything and change them around. This is as dumb as Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver not being um, Matt Nito's children anymore. They're still his children, no matter what the hell they, they, they want to try to say with all that nonsense because they're angry at Fox. Well, you know, guess what? Without Fox, your asses wouldn't be around, so it's kind of stupid for you guys to do that just because they're popular characters look you had to get you had to sell your popular characters off so you can still be around and then you spit in the faces the fans faces with these unnecessary retcons that nobody asks you for nobody asks you for these retcons and then shock that fans aren't receiving them well well of course the fans weren't receiving this mess well it's stupid and if this was how a daily day in the life of Marvel comic books is, wow. Wow, you guys need some serious reconstruction. Like, from the editor all the way down to the writers. Because that was unacceptable. Like, I don't understand what is going on in today's society, especially when it comes to entertainment. And especially when it comes to comic books. Like... The comic books nowadays 
have been really terrible. And I'm talking about from the big two. There are some, you know, diamonds in the rough, but most of it is piled with trash and garbage. You have to literally crawl your way to find the diamond in the rough. Why? Because I can tell you if this was a regular job, Dan Slot would have been fired. I mean, I just don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it because it's really disappointing to see in that kind of stuff. Really disappointing to see that kind of stuff. Marvel, Disney, whoever, y'all got to y'all got to do something. You got to do something. You want people to read these books or something like that. You got to do better than this. You got to put somebody in there that's not for the nonsense, that knows these characters inside and out, that has a passion to create good stories. We're not talking about trying to please the Twitter mob, SJWs or whatever. You need somebody that can turn in scripts on time, make sure the story is correct, make sure the panels are drawn correctly with good art, with good art too. You have to put time and effort into these books. It's like the past 80 years don't mean nothing to y'all anymore. Because y'all got a, these characters grandfathered in, you think that you're not supposed to put time and effort into them. No, you still have to put time and effort into this stuff. And looking at that six, um, 616, no, it literally shows how much you don't care. And that's the real sad fact. But yeah, that was my little quick little video. Tell me what you guys think. Drop a comment. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.